Hello, mate. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Assassins. It's me, Rog Assassin. I'm here with Sir Gordon, and we're looking at his build. This is Sir Gordon's build, what he's put together for the Technomancer. So let's get straight into it. First of all, we'll have a look at the skills. That is Gordon's build, not mine. Hands free. So the skills we're looking at the Blighted Turret, Cold Snap, and Blighted Rounds. That's pretty self explanatory, right? Let's have a look at the class tree. And there's your class tree. I'm not going to go for every node. You've got it on yours. You know what it all is. Pause the video. That, that's that. Uh, okay, back to the inventory. Right, so the weapon. Looking at, you want a tactical assault rifle. Other guns might be alright, but Gordon's saying tactical assault rifle is definitely what's um, helping him get some damage out. It's more accurate. Um, on the weapon, we've got crit damage and long range is what you want. Life leech is just a bonus. It doesn't really matter what you, you can get whatever your personal preference is there, but as long as you've got your crit damage and your long range. The mods, we've got killing spree, increases your damage, and critical shots do not consume ammo. It keeps the blighted rounds going. All that extra damage for the toxic spread and whatnot. Um, the sniper rifle and the pistol, he doesn't really use. They're just kind of there to be there. And then we've got the armor helmet. The stats we're looking for is firepower, long range, and close range, really, because you need that bit of close range sometimes when you get rushed. It helps clean the ads up. For now, he's using emergency stance, um, just for that extra protectiveness. And toxic lead. Killing enemies vector with the toxic will instantly replenish ammo in your magazine. So it's keeping that bullets there for tox um, the blighted rounds. Um, the emergency stance will eventually be changed out for the beret. And I think it's aiming down sight will increase your firepower. On the uh, chest piece. We've got again firepower and close range. We really need long range on that. We've got no pain, no gain. When the skill ends, 40% of the damage dealt with the skill will be turned into healing and spread amongst allies. And crit stack. Bonus crit damage when you're stacking up. Can't go wrong with that. On the legs. Got firepower, long range, and a little bit of healing received. Again, that one could be changed out for the close range. Uh, Blighted rounds is effective for extra magazines. And Bloodlust helps with the killing spree buff as well. Stacking up um, on kills. On the gloves. We've got firepower, close range, long range. Trick up the sleeve. When the rounds are active, you get 30% extra bullets in your magazine and increased assault weapon damage, obviously for the um, assault rifle. And on the boots, we've got bonus firepower, close range, long range. Uh, the blighted rounds increase crit damage. And whenever your health drops below 30%, increase your firepower that little bit extra. So there's a lot of a kind of... Um, Backup defense, when you're in the shit, your damage is going to go up on this build. So there's a few mods that can be changed out still. It's not perfect. We've got some good rolls on his build. One thing I will say is this is one hell of a good build. Um, it's slowly been getting better and better as we've been doing the CT15 runs. And it, it helps my trickster out a hell of a lot as well. Because you with the 40% um, damage buff from the skill tree that he's got. Um, the very last point. Empowering until that's it. That increases... Um, that, that's never down. That is constantly up. By the time the turret's finished, it's back again. That 40% that damage increase is massive. Uh, we've not got any gameplay video for this um, video. I'll tell you now, the, dam the damage that he's putting out on this is big damage, but he's putting out um, assault rifle, a million a bullet. It's mental. And it's buffing my trickster, and I'm hitting high numbers on the on that as well. We'll get some gameplay videos of some CT15 runs soon, once we've probably got a bit better armor. But that's the build. Let me know what you think of it. Pair it with the trickster build. If you've got a trickster and a Technomancer in your group, get these two builds on. It's fucking insane together. It makes CT15 a breeze. Anyway, that's the build. If you're liking the videos, do give us a like and a subscribe, and you know, all that jazz. It helps build the channel. I'll leave it on that, and we'll see you in the next one. Total pep.